Hi guys, I'm so excited to be back after months and months. It was kind of hard, uh, as I mentioned on my Instagram, to handle work. Uh, we set up like a whole system now so I can go back to creating content on a regular basis. So I'm really excited. I shot a lot of videos before the pandemic happened in the US. So this is actually the first I'm releasing today. So you have during the next few weeks, you'll have a few videos that are not really relating to the current situation. Maybe it feels good. So we are at Boucherie. Uh, it's one of my favorite restaurants in New York. Actually, I went last week when they reopened restaurant and they set up an outdoor space that's like really safe. So I think you guys should absolutely check it out. And the food is amazing. I'm starting my makeup by applying KNC lip balm. It's really one of my favorite because I have very dry lips, so I'm pretty tough about picking my lip balm. And this one is definitely gonna make my lips really moisturized, and I just love this light scent. For skin, I'm gonna have a veil of uh, foundation all over my face. Usually, I target just where I need it to remove some shadows I have, and I try to avoid having like foundation all over. But for today, sometimes I like to do that. Like I'm still gonna see like the texture of my skin. It's just gonna improve over all the complexion and then I'm going to use this pink blush it's a very pigmented too pigmented I think but uh, I love the color so I use a tiny amount on my brush to apply it on my cheeks this highlighter is one of my favorite because it's not very metallic it's a little bit metallic but the perfect amount and it's glowy and I feel like this is more like skin uh, when it's super metallic and dry, I feel like maybe it's good on picture, but in real, I feel like it's really not natural. I'm always going to do my trick. Uh, I mean, sometimes I don't do it, but it's definitely a technique I mostly do. Uh, so it's applying eye pencil between my lash line and a little bit on top to really lift my eye up, but also to redefine my eyes. I'm using this one that has copper pigment and I absolutely love, love, love the color. I'm gonna use first uh, this matte eyeshadow all over my eyelid um, and then I'm gonna have this burgundy metallic in the center of course between applying and touching the eye palette I always always clean my finger and dry it so it doesn't ruin the eyeshadow and then on the bottom lash that's gonna give me like a pop of color so this technique is extremely easy it's really like a go-to if you want to do like a little smoky eye on the go super simple you use the eye pencil two eyeshadows one matte one metallic metallic always in the center to really like create this like pop of light and at the end i use again a little bit more of the eye pencil to make sure my definition is like intact and then you can have a little bit of the highlighter in the inner corner of course tons of mascara i love this one because the brush is so thin that's really gonna be very easy to apply it on the roots. Applying a lot of cream in the roots will make my lashes like more up and also more thick um, by the lash line. And I feel like that looks more like a natural lash shape and it creates more intensity in the eyes. I'm not a fan of having false lashes because I feel like it changes um, too much the way I actually naturally look. So I prefer to put tons of mascara on the lash line to create this optical illusion that I have tons of lashes. Anyway, I'm really, really excited to launch all these videos um, starting this week. And then we are starting shooting next week. I'm gonna have to find a creative way of making content uh, in this current situation, but I'm really happy to bring you guys a little bit of Vavavoom. <laughs>